So I came home to a box in front of my door and we had a delivery and I was like, oh, what's this? I forgot, like, you know, I didn't think I ordered anything. And I remembered it's from my friend who runs a farmer's market in Florida and her and I have been really, really good friends ever since we both started blogging and she has this really great Instagram channel for her farmer's market. It's called the Parksdale Farmer's Market. Um, it's in Florida. I'll get you some more information about it below. But she sent me a huge box of onions. We've been talking a lot over Instagram and stuff and then they had a bunch of onions. She wanted to send me some because I love onions. But I wanted to show you them. There's the onions. Look how big they are compared to my cat. Look how big those onions are. <laughs> They're amazing. But not only that, like my cat has been standing next to these onions for an hour. I have no idea why she can't get away from these onions, but like she will not leave them. And she keeps rubbing her face on the box. Vincent, hey, booby. Hey, Vincent, leave the onions alone. Hey, what are you doing? She, like, she loves these onions. She will not leave. <laughs> and look how big they are, you guys. Like seriously, look how big they are. <laughs> Do you like them? Yeah, they're amazing, huh? <laughs> Guarding your onions so nobody takes them. Good girl. Good girl. Are those your onions? Yeah. <laughs> so a little information about Parksdale Farms. Founded in 1956, Parksdale Farm Market is the largest family operated strawberry and citrus market in Florida. They harvest more than 3 million pounds of strawberries every year. And the strawberry um, festival in Florida is no joke. Um, Plant City, Florida, no joke. We've been there a few times. So many strawberries, you can't even believe it. It's amazing. They have a really, really great market open seven days a week from November to April, Tuesdays to Sundays from May to October, um, and close the first two weeks in August. So if you're in Plant City, Florida, anytime, go check it out, or you're nearby, that's within driving distance of Orlando, for instance, um, go check it out, it's a great place. An update about those onions since I started using them and what I, I want to show you what I did with them and what they're used for. So I found out that they're actually called strawberry onions and from the Parksdale blog, uh, my friend wrote a blog here that talks about it. So Plant City, Florida is well known as the winter strawberry capital of the world. What most people don't know is that most local farmers also grow strawberry onions and that's what those were. You may ask, what's a strawberry onion? <laughs> they taste like strawberries? So they're a savanna hybrid sweet onion, which is grown on the perimeter of the strawberry fields. They don't taste like strawberries, but they are sweet onions. They're available from February to April, and they are used on the perimeter of the fields to keep the bugs and pests out of the fields. So, so they have a really nice sweet flavor. They're amazing. And I wanna show you guys what I ended up doing with these strawberry onions so I can show you how I <laughs> managed to deal with these massive onions. So I took two of them, and I just got rid of the tops because they were too wilted by the time they got to me. So what I did was I just chopped them up into big chop, and I put them into a huge bag like this, and I've been using them every single day. I love them, they're so, so good. So I have two of them chopped up into a huge bag like this. Or wait, that was three maybe, I think. Um, and then I have the other three whole sitting here waiting for me to figure out what to do with them. So I still have them. I'm very excited to use them. I'm not gonna throw them out because they are so delicious and so sweet. And I love onions so much. So I think what I might do is, since they're frozen already and I didn't chop them, I'm thinking of maybe like trying to just hack them apart and then put them in a food processor so I can just get them smaller and then refreeze them. So I don't like thaw them out and freeze them again. That's what I'm trying to avoid. And then that way I can just use them the way I've been using them. Or maybe what I can do is just, if I can just get them into smaller sections, that way I can just keep them frozen in those sections and then just pull them out and defrost little sections as I need them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, please check out below. I'm gonna put some blog posts by the Parksdale Farm Market about these strawberry onions and more about them. Check them out. Thank you. So so much Parksdale for the onions and um, looks like onions in our future. <laughs> we really, really thank you for the onions, both of us. <laughs> I think Vincent already knows all she needs to know.
If you liked this video and you found that you learned something out of it, I thought it was pretty interesting at least. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. Have you ever heard of a strawberry onion before? Thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe as always, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!